laugh at me you know why because your destiny is at stake here good afternoon ladies and gentlemen that was for all the students out there for the pupils they they, they are nowhere to be found <laughs> they are still very naive uh, they just you know you're repeating or you're not repeating everything is just so fine uh, but the semi-adults you understand those who are already into adulthood uh, that's the students out there it's not easy to go back you know visiting the same desk again this academic here <laughs> We we'll bring you good news from this end. We all will put our brains together to see how we can be of plenty, plenty of courage to you all this afternoon so that you take courage, you know. Uh, do not look at where you slipped off. Just look at, you know, uh, how far you have to go this time around and just clean off the dust off your butts and move on stand straight stand up to your feet and stand up to your challenge and so to all those who did not make it the last academic year you repeated class one no from one from two and so on. whatever class we bring you good news uh, this afternoon uh, it is august the 6th of uh, september 2021 and uh, it is the international you know BAD. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, once more. Thanks for joining us as far as the program is concerned this afternoon. The International BAD, you understand? The International BAD. We talk about that this afternoon in the course of the program. You know a bear? Of course, we all know it. Uh, when I come to good, Maricol is already there. I'm spotting her there. Uh, I wish we had that little video, you know, where the bear was alone in the forest or was uh, that's the bear we're talking about. And so today we're celebrating that, you know, creature, if I must say, created by God that lives, you know, especially in the, you know, uh, the, 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 can I say the, the winter zones, if I must say good. Uh, those areas that are very cold because their skin is made out of material that can actually you know survive the the cold and so in the forest areas of you know russia and so on and some other parts of africa but very rare yeah it may be very rare you can find them there the program is in the heart of the city we're glad to be here this week this day happy start of this week to you all we wish you all the best from this end as far as this week is concerned again remember all you need to do throughout this week is to wear one beautiful smile no matter what is happening no matter what is not happening and before you know it good things come knocking at your door and so ladies and gentlemen let's put up that spirit today even to all those who are taking back the roads to you know classrooms uh, the kindergarten kids uh that's the uh, the the section in the academic here first day that's always full of lots and lots of ambience you understand and then uh the pupils and the students from the zen remember we Um, this uh, it's not easy we admit that if somebody has never repeated a class then you wouldn't know how that feeling is you know sometimes it's not easy to bear but you need to bear it because your destiny is at stake bear it stand up to you know your challenge and before you know it because you decided to accept what has happened before you know it next year or the sea that we're talking right now you go be the best in your class so you just keep that in mind as we write through the program from this
Daddy, amen. Meanwhile, you and a woman come back from work together. You've worked the same number of hours at work during throughout the day. You land home almost at the same time. Sometimes the woman even comes later than you. And you are expecting this woman to make the, the unmakeable, like I would say, because she wants to give you food, she wants to care for you. Meanwhile, you guys have spent the same kind of energy out there. She's called to do that, yes. But you, the man, can be flexible and just say, okay, let me assist my woman. I want to have her die. Because some women are having back pain nowadays, Miss B, holding a uh, stick, walking stick, very too young, much. very tender ages. Too much because of too much work. If the man could step in, I bet you less women will be having such issues because they will be like, they're assisting the lady. And the day she's not there, why not just do it all? And when she comes back, she too relaxes a little and knows that my better half has helped. <laughs> my better half. I'm still with you, Marie, called this afternoon. <laughs> you know, I was about asking this. Someone may ask again, what is the woman doing that this man is washing and cooking every day for her? And you talked about the fact that maybe both of them go to work and they come back the same time. Maybe you all will leave at 7 a.m., come back at 7 p.m. and so on. But now why is it that it is the man? Who must do the washing and the cooking every day? There's no problem. Mm -hmm. I've accepted. Maybe the two of them go to work, they come back the same time in the evening. But why the man? Because someone may be wondering right now, but why should the man be doing it every day? What is the woman doing? Mm -hmm. but you know, I'm still answering and asking and answering the question. Mm -hmm. What if it was the woman to do the same every day? So it bounced back to what Mariko earlier said. What is the news in it? <laughs> Is it because it's a man yeah. and so on and anyway uh i'll pause for now <laughs> let me allow my god to chill ladies and gentlemen we're asking this afternoon uh is there anything wrong with a man washing and cooking for the wife every day we don't want to know the circumstances or understand the circumstances surrounding the washing and the cooking <laughs> yes even concha the woman cooks concha now uh, even you know a contract is even you know even that one that they pound on tea is best for men even because they need muscle uh, <laughs> they need muscle building more yeah. than the women yeah. even so the men can better do it anyway Mariko has given her take you understand as far as this issue is concerned i still have something to say let me keep it in that i needed to hear from you this afternoon mm. uh uh what is the taboo in it don't you find it romantic um okay miss b thank you for that question this afternoon i listened to meet my call she said that there is no problem with it okay to one extent there's no problem okay yes. one extent yes to one extent there's no problem because it's love miss miss b i was talking with the guy yesterday the guy is this is serious girl, and she said he said that the girl was pregnant for him and he said the girl was very tired you know the way pregnancy does these things and she said the guy should go to the market and buy food let her cook you don't just buy, let him cook. Come and cook. No, go and buy and let me cook. The guy said, Imagine me. <laughs> he said, Imagine me. Then he called his name and said, Go to the market. Go and cook. Go and buy. I said, What's the problem with that? He said, no <laughs> I said, That's what they call love. I'm still coming. I'm coming. I said, That's what they call love. So there's no problem with that. I don't okay. see any problem with a man doing that for his wife. Is there somewhere that was written that is the woman that is supposed to watch every day? Is there somewhere that's written like that? It's not this our African still culture. Sorry if I can't speak. But this thing is actually
Okay, okay. They will use it as a situation oh. to enslave. All right. This is when there is love. That's why when I'll, there is life. Maybe I'll click like, like, like on this message no. till tomorrow. See, this because is a, that's a great one. Like, 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 man. Mm. It's a real this man. Way, look at him. He's a real man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, boy. You know, after they join us, where I'm taking the girls right now. <laughs> <laughs> Priestly, did you hear production room? Simon says like this to you, Priestly. All the way from Goundary. Greetings to the population of Goundary and Bamenda. We're still on this topic. Please, time is against us. We we'll take it throughout the week. Wherever you're connected this afternoon, we've seen some reactions given through, you know, other social media platforms like WhatsApp. Never mind. Uh, throughout the week, even Ms., uh, was that uh, Mariko is bubbling. Binda is still bubbling. We are still there. <laughs> this is Syria, where there is love. <laughs> this man has not complained. What is your problem? The wife is not complaining also. What is your problem? Anyway, Mariko, <laughs> thank you so much for your contribution, your <laughs> intervention you so there. At least I think it's the reality. Yeah, when a woman does it, is she a slave? And so why should the man do it? But again, we were trying, Miss we was trying to think that women just, you know, don't just use it to enslave. Christmas says there's no enslaving in this thing. Thank you, Binda, for your intervention, equally. We see how we make the best out of this for society to be a better place. Cameron and why not the world and marriage is there. Okay, it's time for us to visit uh, first day of school reopening. I think uh, Mariko, the loss of children, please, parents. Sometimes the atmosphere that the, the child is studying, the condition too, will help this child to study well. And that's why Mariko has suggested to bring for us this afternoon school bags. As far as business is concerned, please don't overpatch that thing. Don't over, you know, some people can really, you know, you know, sometimes the disadvantage of getting married to an economist as a woman or a man to is when it comes to economist is better. <laughs> When it comes, thank you. It really, that's well fashioned there. <laughs> Miss B was, you know, even taken in. <laughs> you know, when you get married to someone who studied economy, or the <laughs> economics, uh, you know, from primary, in fact, from kindergarten economics, they were training in the way the, the kindergarten child is managing the book to primary and secondary school, and today a person is married, a whole lot of problem. And again, we'll start investigating all the economics, you know, teachers out there and their house. All right, please, sometimes allow the child to feel free. You know, when this, there's this saga of first day, everything is just so new beside you, and that child, you know, uh, maybe next week when Binda will be, oh, I don't know if we'll do shoes. Change the shoe. <laughs> You know, change that bag. Mariko, thank you for bringing school bags. Okay. But I think we, we try to tilt it towards parents. So, you know, that Japanese handbrake shall know it's for the good of the child. Or must be wrong this afternoon. Maybe somewhere you are right, somewhere as well, it might be the wrong approach as well. Because sometimes these parents don't have the means. It depends on how you handle it. Well, you can follow these kids and, and follow them up the way they use their bags. Okay, before you continue, talk to them, you know, sometimes you, they may be using the wrong approach. You've noticed sometimes you see a man has patched that trouser on T, patched that trouser. At one point, I know you don't need to throw that trouser. <laughs> Miss we're not talking about trousers. No, I'll it's just, just an example. I'll just stay on the back. So <laughs> yeah, you're it's true, when, 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 when something is overworn, it's good to let go. At some point, thank you. Depending on what you have as authority to okay. try the side, I yes, like that too. exactly. So, with the bags, thank you, Miss V, for giving me the floor once again. We'll talk about bags, school bags for kids. Now that it's back to school, we'll would see all kinds of bags. Honestly, I bet you if you set your eyes in marketplaces, you stand at entrance of schools this day, you'll see all kinds of bags parading the streets. Some that are already back even. Don't be surprised that there will be kids that will leave school today with bags that are already done. Because of the nature of the kind of that's the nature Material. of bags that we bought for mm. these kids. Now when you're choosing the school bags, today we're talking about bags and this season, right now, we can't promise you that you'll get something cheap. No way. There's no way. Why? Because it's already back to school. So everybody is struggling to get a bigger that is, the, they want to have a big share of their gains, exactly. those who are into this business. So you can meet a guy, a bag that will be sold in normal times right now. You can find it, that's in normal times, you can find it for a thousand francs. Indeed. Right now, Miss B, you'll find it for say five thousand francs. Don't <laughs> that's be the problem too. Exactly. So when you're getting your bags, the only thing that I want to lay more emphasis on, while, because we, when we went through the market, we saw that 
there are, there are different brands of bags in the market. There are some that are what are coming from our ne next door uh, neighbors. I don't want to call their names, but you. you know what it is like when you get those that version of bag. It's quite cheap, but I bet you will be coming back again to the market very soon. So don't take that kind of bag if you're sure that your kid is already in the class that is class three, class four, upwards, Miss B. Because that's from class one, class two, the bags, the, the, the number of books are not too many. Good. So mm. those in secondary schools, they need really this, the hard version of bags. The bags that you get them generally in what we call second-handed bags or okrika, I will call it. Go into this, search the bags, get the, the ones that, even though the, some of them might be looking old, but look at the quality, don't look at the fancy nature of the bags. Because mothers who are sending their children into nursery, they want to rush for bags that have, you know, My Little Pony, uh, uh, Maria Bella, and all of that. All those small, small bags, they can really be nice on your little princesses Ooh. and princes. <coughs> but get what is quality. So, if you can chip in some much more money, I don't have any problem with them using a bag two years, three years for their kids. I have really if no problem. If it's solid, even and it's still good, the exactly. child will feel not and that the exactly. bag is if it's all gone. And That's the reason why you should even get a bag, even if you're spending too much on the bag. Don't think of the money that you're spending, good. but think of the duration of that bag. How long it's going to take your child throughout the season? So there's this, this uh, there, there are different versions. The big girls and boys of secondary, some of them would not prefer what would be on your back, like Oko Baba back. They will not go for that one. Girls would go for the normal ladies, ladies approach handbag. But the kind of back now is what matters. How far can it contain? That's where the problem lies. So if you're going for your bags right now, think of all of this, just put all of this together. Quality, think of how it can contain, uh, the, the, what it can contain. And then you probably think of rains because in the rainy seasons, I'll just go ahead with this and in the course of the month and you surprise the child again you see that the child will be somehow comfortable because i bet you it's not easy when everything is just a new but your own you know if you've ever gone through that situation you understand what we talk as an example whenever uh, I'm coming back from school when I see wise oh god <laughs> it's obvious oh. your smile can go right up to you they just imagine you see kung fu food and playing okra or you see people <laughs> and say, thank you but when oh, I see wise thank you <laughs> honestly in my days I would just